Mars, as we all know it, the red planet, covered with ice. What? Crazy, I know, but indeed, Mars has sheets of ice so large that if you stood in the middle of such a patch, all you'd see, as far as you can see, would be ice, with some distant mountains just peeking over the horizon. Think about this for a second. If you stood, hypothetically, if you stood on the surface of Mars, the red planet, the dusty, stormy, iron-covered rock, you would see a sight somewhat similar to, out of all places, Antarctica. Yes, I know I'm exaggerating, but probably not by much. Crazy, eh? Mars has multiple of these enormous ice patches scattered around its north and the south pole. And one such place that completely blew my mind recently is the 80 km wide Korolev Crater. Located at the North Pole of Mars and named after Sergei Korolev, a famous Soviet lead engineer that was known for sending a few dogs into space and some dude after that. It is an impact crater filled with enough water ice to fill this kettle that I have around here more than once. More than twice even. Well, in fact, there is enough water ice in that crater that it will be able to support the Earth's tea consumption for the upcoming 8,000 years. Clearly the reason why everyone's trying to colonize Mars so badly nowadays. The Korolev crater got my attention recently when I was doing research for another space-related video and I discovered this absolutely incredible recording made by the European Space Agency and I just froze in place for a second. Like, what? We've got this footage from the Mars? Well, no, I later found out that apart from this one photo, which indeed is real, uh, this flyby video is in fact a visualization. Nonetheless, an incredibly inspiring one, uh, but it is a visualization made using data collected by the Mars Express probe. Interestingly, the data was collected over five orbits, i.e. five times the Mars Express flew over Mars. However, these aren't as you'd imagine them to be, right? Like, you'd think that they would fly the probe over the crater over and over again continuously and then take pictures, but this was not the case. The orbit numbers were 1,412, 5,654, 5,692, 5,726 and 18,042. Why? Looking at the spread of these orbit numbers, you could hypothesize that Mission Control first took a picture of Korolev early in the mission, then decided that they could probably focus on it a little bit more, which resulted in the following three orbits being a little bit closer together, and then eventually realized that they possibly missed something on the previous runs and decided to go over Korolev crater once more many years later to snap some extra pictures. Or maybe not. But I just, I don't know, I just like the idea that some ESA scientists had to go to their colleagues and go like, shit guys, I think we missed something. Korolev is also interesting as it appears to be the southmost patch of ice on the northern hemisphere of Mars. And it is able to contain ice this far south due to a phenomena called the ice trap. You see, the two kilometer difference between the crater's floor and the uh, rift causes Martian air to be continuously trapped in there, creating a shielding layer on top of the ice that protects it from heating up and allows the ice to remain there permanently. And so, indeed, if you stood in the middle of the crater, you could look in any direction and you would see ice stretching 
all the way to the horizon. Interesting diversion. This is partially due to the fact that on Mars, the horizon is only about three kilometers away from where you're standing, which is around 25% closer than it is on Earth. And this is because Mars's radius is roughly half that of Earth's. Interesting diversion on interesting diversion. The Moon's radius is actually half that of Mars's, or quarter of Earth's, which means that on the Moon the horizon would be roughly half as far as it is on Earth, at around 2.5 kilometers from where you'd be standing. And interestingly enough, you can see this difference with naked eye if you were to compare the images taken on these three planets. Space is pretty cool, eh? Oh, Moon is not a planet, buddy. Moon is not a planet, boy. Moon is not a planet. Ugh. Moon is not a planet. I know.